quit. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I was over here and you were. I know, in. but I yeah. wanted. Yeah. Is it running? Oh, okay. And that's centered there, as you can see. Now I've got to walk around the other side of the table here to uh, finish putting the rest of the tabs in. And we need one here. And I don't know if I mentioned or not, uh, this red tape is a type of tape that nothing likes to stick to it. So I don't really need a mold release agent on it. It just will automatically release from the resin, which is nice. That's uh, the reason for the red tape. I, I kind of like it. It's actually a, a, a weather stripping for the home industry. Okay, so now those are all installed. The fabric is nice and firm into the corner. So now with these blocks, there's a key to it. The key is number one plug. You can see this is cut on an angle, this is cut on an angle. So this will be the first plug that will be extracted out because of this angle cut here and here. The block adjacent to it on either side also has this angle to match. The rest of them will all be cut straight uh, 90 degrees. So again, this cut out here has to line up on this tab so that the tab will push the carbon fiber uh, as a hump up into this notch, which will allow for the release, the recess for the stringers. So we put that there. Number two, we go around like a clock. Number one, number two, again, it's recess, and it's angle to match this angle. Goes in, and I just pull it in firm. And so number 10 is also on an angle to match this angle, so I gotta find number 10 in here. Here's number 10. You can see that's got this angle to match block number one. This is a 90 degree, and this is a recess for the stringer. So I'll, I'll put that in, as you can see there. Now I can go down, number nine happens to be here, so I'll put number nine in. And I just verify the notch is right lined up with the tab. Number eight happens to be sitting here. Uh, it goes in here. These are very, very subtly different. That's why they're numbered, number seven goes here and again you can see the notch here is lined up right over the top of that tab okay so number three over here again we just stack them in like so now i'll walk over here finish the circle number four this is really the easy part Here's number five. Now the fact that I haven't closed up this gap over here yet, still open, this is a little bit bigger. So this last one should drop in relatively simple. So there it goes like this. Now that fit into place. If I had to close that up, then this would have been really difficult to get in place. But right now it's relatively simple. So what I'm going to do is, is grab the fabric here. I'm going to just start lifting it up. And it'll, it'll like to stay where, where we really need it, ultimately. And uh, as you can see, uh, we got a couple other things we're going to do before we put the next circle of blocks in. And... So we get that up so that's nice and firm, get all the wrinkles out of it. And uh, kind of walk around this side, finish doing that. Okay.
So now, as soon as this is this step is done, what we're going to do is another thing that makes this a little better finished project is um, right now the, the blocks are setting in here. There's not just a whole lot of down pressure on them, so we're going to put weights on these plugs before we clamp the next block in this direction because once we clamp this down it's like a it's like a, a vice it's going to squeeze it. it's going to be harder to push down then so we want to put down pressure on it now and so that's just a typical uh, put a bunch of weights on it type thing uh, however just to make things a little bit simpler i'm going to put these blocks around the circle here number one is always at the top like a clock. This is the key part. This is the last one to go in. And so number two will go number two will go in here. And number five is uh, over there. And there's number six it goes up there. And this should be number three over here. So meanwhile, uh, what I want to do is um, put the weights on it. And I'm just using a bunch of old chunks of steel here. That's the magic about it. And that, uh, it's the kind of thing that takes a little bit of time, but a little weight and time will do a lot for you. Yeah, I don't have to hammer on it or beat on it. Uh, so. This is kind of what I've arrived at for weights. Seems to be working. And uh, so we just load this up here. Nothing magic about any of this. I've just been kind of guessing it, what I really need to do here and how much. And it seems to be doing quite well. And now I can look around the other side. And this will take a few minutes and won't be very long, we'll be done. Well, let's see. Generally, I'll do this, then we'll do this. Get extra weights here. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. For now, that's good. So what I'll do is number one block here. I'm going to move it up to its position up to there. Number six, we'll slide that in. Oh, I caught the edge here. Slide that into its position. Number two, same same thing. Make sure we don't get any wrinkles going on. All right. Now I'm going to just tighten up the gap here just a little bit. Okay, we'll do I'll finish that up here in a moment. Let's put in number five block. And hopefully the last one, the key, will, will fit reasonably well. You can see I got number one and number four here. The edges are cut straight. They're actually they're actually on an angle like this so that this can extract out 
with minimum drag and uh, so we can see here so that's kind of going in here just perfectly okay so we don't need much down pressure here because it's not doing anything on the bottom except that's just going to hold the inside diameter of our part so I'm going to finish tightening up the screw just so and that will that will uh, hold our dimension so I need a little help with a pair of pliers here and all I'm doing is just looking at my gap here and it looks like it's just getting just about where it needs to be I've determined I can actually control that diameter by down to 10 or 15 thousandths of an inch by the gap that I maintain here so basically now we're done except the last little thing I do is I go along and I'll push all this inboard because that will allow this that will allow this block to be extracted out without this being over if this is over to pull this block out you, you would have to saw this off first but by pushing this all outboard will allow the extraction of those plugs uh, much easier and then a later date then you go saw it off saw off the, the scrap so I like to get get that get all this pushed inboard and so what we're going to do is uh, later tonight when this is ready to be extracted we'll finish up this video by uh, observing how I get these plugs out of there with no taper on the sides of the plug uh, which is kind of a, a trick and uh, it's even taken a little bit of trial and error to perfect that uh, so you'll probably like to see that and so we'll continue this video uh, a little later when we actually do the extraction of this part but uh, you can see these two part number one and number four they're keys to be extracted out to relieve these and then again uh, block number one is is dovetailed so that's the key to the rest of these getting out and uh, so for now that kind of completes it except for the, the cleanup of, of the little bit of mess I made we didn't destroy a brush by doing all of this just a, a wooden stick but you'll wipe it off and use next time and the scrap is what you can see here this little overhang is is all we've wasted and uh, again it's making really an extremely strong bulkhead uh, later on another requirement is going to be to make the same ring about 60,000 smaller in diameter so what I'll be doing then is putting a, a shim of that amount on the inside of this pattern which will make that ring smaller and then I'll have to shorten up these blocks and modify that uh, a little bit so I can actually use the, the, most of this for making other smaller sizes of, uh, of bulkheads but uh, I don't know of any other way to really make this part and have the sides perfectly parallel with no draft for, for release and then to be able to get it apart that's uh, the real key and as you'll see later uh, some of it can be really difficult to extract these plugs uh, but uh, so far I've been able to do, this will be number six bulkhead that I've made and, uh, and they seem to be working okay. Anyway, so for now, that's all we're doing. We'll resume this. Oh, it's noon today. It'll probably be 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight. It'll be a more than comfortable time to extract this. So we'll see you then.